Welcome to the Fort's official Tournament 18, Mateo versus Emily. All right, Forts fans, welcome back to game number three of the Forts Official Tournament 18 here on Synergy Gaming TV. Another great matchup we got for you guys today. So let's introduce our players on the left hand side playing Spook. It is Mateo. Looking forward to seeing what this guy does in this match. His opponent, now correct me if I'm wrong, playing Firebird is MLA. Now, is that Emily or like MLA? Let me know in the comments down below, make sure I get that correct. Guys, we are playing on the vanilla map here. Um, it's already, seeing MLA not going for that uh, typical selling off of the uh, front metal here to gain that economic advantage, although placing uh, relatively good here didn't make a, an additional connection at all here. Mateo going for the super minimalistic build here. Uh, keeping this background bracing. I'm assuming just in case something goes, th like certain things could go through their buzzsaws, I'm pretty sure still hit that, but I think... Uh, for sniper shots and things like that. I think that's actually relatively smart, as at least early game, to be expected here from Mateo. I'm going to assume this is going to be a nuke rush. Sniper, yes, probably a nuke rush. Uh, is MLA going to be ready for it? We did sell off the metal here finally now. Um, although we are doing turbines on top of the core, we have discussed this in many streams and videos not to do this. And the main reason is... Uh, we'll mention it once again as the uh, cannon trajectory. So if you place your cannons in your typical location up above here and then you fire, typically it's going to give the trajectory a downward uh, angle right towards the core, which means one cannon punches through here, the next one drops down right here on the core and you lose the game. Uh, super, super easy. So you always want to have a buffer zone uh, that's not the turbines above your core just to guarantee there's a little bit of space here. Looking like MLA going for the... Uh, hidden gunner. I, I'm assuming that maybe they suspect that there's going to be mortars coming, which is definitely not the case at all. So, oh, disappointing. Wow. MLA gets the sniper from Mateo. Uh, this is looking really ugly here right now. Um, the under, the upside down gunner, like the, or the protected gunner here in this little bucket, is really good against mortars, not so good against uh, Swarm Warhead. But I guess we can see that uh, maybe work, maybe not work, I'm not sure. Uh, going for a laser rush here, I like to see this, I like to see this. Hopefully there's going to be enough time for the uh, plasma fire beam to get put out here. Uh, not sure about this. We're seeing double bracing up here, but no double bracing in the base. This is going to be absolutely detrimental. Again, no expansion of the mine. Typically, the proper procedure... Uh, there we go. First set of swarms. Typically, the proper procedure is, uh, the moment you place down your tier 2 technology, you back it up with another mine. Um, hit the F8 key here. We're coming into the three-minute mark now of this match, and Mateo already dropping the bombs with rockets on the back here, trying to do a little bit of damage, aiming for those, uh, turbines here. You can see MLA not adding any sandbags or anything to the front, basically just taking the grunt force of all of that. Um, still need to see the follow-up of the, of the, there it is, the mine. Okay, so that's only, that's way late. That's super late mine. That's gonna absolutely determine the outcome of this. Uh, MLA's not going to have the resources needed to defend against Mateo's onslaught of swarms here right now. Uh, you can see though that, that Mateo wasn't rushing too quickly into getting the warheads. Decided to take advantage of the structural base that MLA has made here and, and apply some pressure to the energy uh, here. And this is going to be the, so the, I like the selling off of the turbine. That was great. Just sandbags is, is all they need uh, to protect those. Not an issue uh, whatsoever. So this is going to look like I can see GG already here. Once both, once if if he does go both both nukes over here, then we are basically going to be um, kaput. This is probably going to be GG here very quickly. Three gunners is not enough to handle the situation. We are adding some more gunners here, um, but with no turbines, no energy production, we're going to be in trouble. Going to be in trouble here. Oh, I like that. Yeah, buzzsaw coming down here. Boom, gone. Absolutely just dominating this. Mateo is... is I, I don't even have words. I don't even have words, you guys. 
This is going to be a blowout. I can tell already. Mateo absolutely controlling the entire outcome of this map. MLA completely on the defense here. No turbines, no sandbags to protect the turbines. Sandbags are great for defending against swarms, you guys. Fantastic. Uh, they resist fire. Uh, they don't allow penetration. They're they're super good all around. Uh, very quick and easy build. Bang, bang. Two sandbags, and then you'd have room for turbines. Uh, you can also see here, too, that MLA decided not to make the adapter plate. We talk about this in the in the materials section, I believe, and the seven golden rules. Uh, tutorial videos about adapter plates and things like that. You never want to have your, your bracings too wide uh, because it creates a huge structural weakness. Uh, long, long bracings vertical are really good. They hold a lot more weight, but... Uh, Horizontal bracings are, are not good in this game at all. So looking like here, Mateo's just gonna absolutely dumpster this entire match. Um, got the buzz saws happening here, applying some of that pressure, chopping off some of that lumber. Looking good. We've got. He's not even bothering to fire the the warheads right now. He's got the energy. You can see right here. He's gonna sit down at nine thousand energy. He's got all he needs, and now he's gonna fire. Here we go. And this should be GG right here. As soon as these connect. Uses a minigun to take out the... Oh, it's not GG. Huge core damage there, though. Huge core damage there. Let's see the... And there it is. Uses the buzzsaw. Great job, Mateo. Uh, absolutely had MLA on the back foot. Completely. Um, fantastic match here. Uh, not much else to say. To be blatantly honest, you guys, that was that was Mateo versus Emily, Spook versus Firebird.